What's up guys, <clears throat> Joe Young here. Um, I just got in the uh, suspension kit um, not too long ago. Um, it was Thursday and I got it in and I just got a chance to start putting it together. What, um, I kind of wanted to do a quick video of, um, I guess, installing it and I guess if you ever guys end up getting a suspension kit uh, for this, I guess, or whatever. Some of the problems and stuff that you'll need. Um, one thing was I didn't have a wire cutter. Um, and I was struggling a little bit with the scissors, the normal scissors or not, and it didn't, didn't work out. So just get some sort of metal wire cutter. Um, I got this at um, Home Depot for I think 14 bucks. So it looks like this basically, and it's kind of like bent. This is really good stuff. You need this. Um, the other thing is you'll need some sort of like small screw set. Um, it's like a computer small screw or whatever, like a Phillips uh, is what you'll need. And this is the uh, Build My LED suspension kit. So I have the LED here. I've already done the suspension, but I kind of want to explain um, what it comes with so it comes with two obvious uh, this is a single one so it comes with two like just long pieces one end here is connected to like this metal piece which mounts basically this basically helps mount to the wall to the ceiling so this kit is meant for like a ceiling mount so for example it comes with this little piece here you put it in you put it in here Right, it, it locks in place or whatever, and this end metal piece that's clamped on, it holds this down, and then it kind of like sits like this, okay? So this is great for a ceiling install if you're, in, you know, actually the, the wire is a lot longer than this. Um, it comes like, I think, six or eight foot, um, but I ended up cutting it. So this is great for a ceiling if you're just going to suspend it from the ceiling, but for my case, I wanted to suspend it off a a light fixture stand that was already lower and is already in position. So this here is no good um, for my work. Um, so what I ended up doing was using some of the equipment from my other uh, light fixture or our suspension kit that I wasn't using the kit for and actually is really really good. So basically what I did was I took the wire that they supplied with me, I cut you know, to the length that I need, and I use this piece. So it's a loop. And what it is, is a simple two screw. It has a hole here that is big enough to fit, you know, two of these wires in here, and then you basically screw both of the screws in. Um, this, I'm pretty sure you can probably pick up at just Home Depot or Lowe's as well. Super, super useful if, if you just have some sort of loop that you're hanging from and that's what you need. This piece is what you'll need. Um, so basically what I ended up doing was just cutting to the length and this is the length that I need really from my light fixture. And from there I made this loop here, screwed those in so this is like just straight tight. And on the other end basically you feed one, I have it, okay, no, I don't have it. No. You basically you feed the other end into this wire and they give you a screw that you supply with uh, this little Allen wrench here, you put it in and you screw it in. So this basically is screwed in tight. And then on the other end of it, it's a bracket where it slides. You can basically screw it on the bottom and it slides on your fixture here. So basically you attach it on here and it slides into place and you, let me try to, there we go. I have to loosen it up a little bit, there we go. So once you slide it in place, you you put it where you need it to and you kind of just screw it in. So that's what I did in terms of a, a minor adjustment. So for all you guys that are looking to buy something similar in this kit, this doesn't come with it. Um, so make sure you get it or figure out another loop. Another way that I was um, going to do it was um, kind of, I don't know, kind of a rigged method. So. On this end here, 
this piece here that's mounted, I did something like this, where I went through, and I fed basically um, this piece here that would have gone to uh, hold in the, the wire like this, back up and out, and then basically that becomes your loop. And then you can just pull this down here. Let me kind of have to bend this up. Give me a second. Like that. And I made a loop like that. So you can make a loop like this as well. Um, so this is kind of, if you don't, if you can't find this piece here, you can do something like this. So FYI, um, this kit here is meant for ceiling mounting and not light fixture hanging. Um, but anyway, so I got this all, all hooked up here. So I'm going to screw it down, make sure it hangs, you know, make sure everything is good, tight. Um, and I'm going to hang it up. So stay tuned, guys. All right, and here it is on the hangers. Um, I kept it probably maybe four inches from the tank. It looks really nice um, so far. Um, I had the wire run off to here and zip tied it down the, uh, the actual hangers. Let's see what else I did. Ah, up here, I didn't want this to kind of slide off and fall off here. So I also zip tied um, the actual loop here onto the pole so it actually this can't slide off and this is pretty secure. Same thing here. Uh, let's see what else I do. Um, these, these black brackets here are from the actual tank mounts. I kept them on there so that this, if it ever had a chance to getting loose where it would actually fall off here, it won't fall off. I mean, it, even when you secure this, it's pretty tight. Um, so it shouldn't fall off, but I also like the look because this is black, this is black, you know, the filters are black. Um, so it looks pretty good, pretty nice. Uh, let's see what else. So yeah, that's pretty much um, it, um, it took me a little while, like I said, to figure out how to create these loops here so this could go on nicely and I got that piece there. Uh, but other than that, it looks really solid so far. Still cycling the tank, still have uh, floaters here. Um, again, I will eventually you know, get rid of those. Um, and this tank should get plenty of light from this but that was just a quick update guys stay tuned for more peace